Story time about how my ex-husband married my mother. Disclaimer is not my story time I said I mean on Instagram. My husband and I divorced about a year ago. Little backstory. When my husband and I were together, we didn't really have infidelity problems. We mostly had financial problems and we just didn't agree on having kids. I definitely did not want kids and he wanted kids. Anyway, we ended up getting divorced after two years of being married. Now when he and I were married, him and my mom always got along super well. More than your average son-in-law, mother-in-law. Of course, this always made me happy. My husband just made her laugh a lot and they would even sometimes go and have dinners together or just get drinks together. Exactly a year after he and I got divorced, towards the end of my marriage with my husband, he confessed to me that he is very attracted to older women. He even joked about how he might get with my mom after he divorced me. I thought it was funny, we both laughed. We'll fast forward exactly a year later my mom invites me and my siblings over to her house for dinner suddenly my ex-husband comes out of the kitchen and they both announce that they are getting married and then they start tonguing each other the worst part is that a few days before i told my mom that i was missing my ex-husband part two is up that's when my ex-husband grabbed me and just started making out with me i couldn't resist it and we finally finished making out he tells me that he's still gonna marry my mother i asked him why and he said that he was marrying her because she really needed him he kept saying things like he's a lonely woman he's getting older she needed someone to take care of her mind you i have four siblings and me who literally are always there for my mother we have never left this woman alone a day in her life that's when i started remembering something a few years ago he had a friend who married an older woman and that basically he became her sugar baby then i realized that around this time he had gotten fired from his job then I accused him of wanting to become a sugar baby. He got so angry he left my apartment. Then I get a call from my mother. Guess what my mom says? She said that she's willing to support him because he gives her everything she needs. She even told my brothers and sisters that we could only come to her house if we are invited. My ex-husband blocked me, trying to convince my mom to block all of us. Because of this, they got into a huge fight. My ex-husband came back to me again, but I said no. What the heck should we do? Story time about how my mother is marrying my ex-husband. Disclaimers on my story time. I said on my Instagram. I had just told my mom that I was missing my ex-husband and that I might text him. No wonder she didn't reply because two weeks later they're announcing that they're getting married. As he's making out with my mom in front of her kids, in front of me, I get up from the table and I leave. At this point, I'm still not over my ex-husband. Yes, we both agreed to get a divorce, but the more time I spent away from him, the more I realized that maybe I did want kids and that he was the perfect person to do it with. Well, at this point, I have nothing else. My ex is marrying my my mom basically everyone followed me into the kitchen that's when i just let it rip i told my mom that she was the worst mom in the world and that i had told her two weeks before that i was missing my ex-husband that's when my ex-husband looks at my mom and says is that true my mom looks at him and says yes it's true then he turns to me and says that he's sorry but he's no longer in love with me and that the one he wants to be with is my mother my siblings and i were all really upset so we decided to leave once i get home i get a text from my ex-husband asking to meet up with me comes over to my apartment and as soon as he comes in he tries to kiss me i couldn't resist and i kissed him back Part three is up. Am I the asshole for dating the ex of somebody I know? Disclaimer is not my story. Tell me on Instagram. A little backstory. I'm 27 and I have never wanted a relationship before up until now. Now, my mom has had a very good friend for about 20 years. This friend of my mom's has a daughter. I've only ever met this girl maybe twice. Back when I was 12 and 15. She follows me on Instagram, which I do not follow her back. But even though she follows me, I never see her liking my posts, never replies to my stories or ever interacts with me, which is why I don't follow her back. My mom and her mom have always wanted us to become friends, but there's a reason why we haven't become friends she's always given off a mean girl energy like that fake friend that's really envious of you yeah so i stayed away from her her and i don't have the same circle of friends but we have a friend in common let's call this friend valerie valerie invited me to a party and i showed up at the party valerie was like hey i want to introduce you to this guy who's had a crush on you for years and i was like what do you mean and she said that he had met me at a party five years before apparently he doesn't have social media so i don't even know what he looks like so she introduced me to this guy and we hit it off instantly we had really good fun and he asked me for my number so i gave it to him a few weeks later we go on a couple of dates he asked me to be his girlfriend but i say no because i'm not ready for that then guess who crawls into my text messages my mom's friend's daughter her message reads it's my feelings that you would ever consider dating somebody who i dated he and i have deep history how dare you i'm just gonna have to speak to your mother about this i sent screenshots over to the boy and he told me that they went out once and that yes they did hook up that one time but apparently she's never left him alone then this girl gets even crazier part two is up Am I the asshole for dating the ex of somebody I know? After she sent me her text message telling me that she was hurt by the fact that I was dating her ex, I asked the guy I'm dating how long they dated for, and he told me that they only went out once. Yep, you got that right. 
And after that one date, this girl decided that this guy had to be her soulmate and that they needed to get married. Once a week for the past four weeks, this girl has been sending me messages asking me to leave him. By the way, it's not like she's contacting him asking him to leave me. She's accusing me of being a homewrecker. They literally went out once and hooked up. Okay, but here's a crazy thing. This girl showed up to my apartment four days ago and I let her in because I was trying to be nice. She came into my apartment and literally started looking through my drawers. She even grabbed my underwear and sniffed them. As she's rummaging through my things, I call her mom and I put her on speaker. That's when her mom starts yelling at her to leave me alone. And the whole thing was pretty funny to me. But as she's leaving my apartment, she turns around and tells me that I need to be careful. And the look on her face was scary. The guy and I kept going out. A month later, he asked me to be his girlfriend again and I said yes. And then the girl found out. Once again, she tries to come to my apartment, but this time I don't let her in. She's banging on my door. Mind you, it's 3 a.m. My neighbor calls the cops and so do I. Finally, a police car arrives. That's when this girl tells the cops that I stole a purse from her. A purse that she had seen in my apartment. Tell the cops that I'm not letting them in unless they have a warrant. Then the cop literally pushes the door open and tells me that he needs to come in. Apparently, the cop believes her. He comes into my closet and finds the purse. Start calling my sister who's a lawyer and they finally leave. A few days later, I find out that this girl hired the guy. He wasn't even a cop so they literally came into my apartment and stole a purse now i'm really scared is this guy even worth the whole drama what should i do best friend always projects her insecurities onto me should i break up with her my best friend and i have known each other for exactly two years we met in college and hit it off right away we're both latinas and we come from really big families i have two other sisters and we get along really well we always hype each other up and have each other's backs a few months after i started my friendship with my best friend let's call her lucia lucia started showing some really toxic qualities sometimes i think i'm just reading too much into it or overreacting so you let me know first of all she would start talking Talking bad about my sisters in front of me. She would make comments like, wow, your sister's gained weight. Or wow, your sister has cellulite. When she first did this, I would just offend my sisters. But then I realized that that just made her want to keep talking more trash. So if she ever said anything about my sisters, I wouldn't say anything. At the time our friendship started, I had a really big crush on this guy. He and I went to the same gym and I never had the courage to speak to him. Not until my sister convinced me to. I finally spoke to him at the gym and we actually hit it off. We would work out together every now and then and he finally asked me out on a date. The day of our date, my best friend came over to my house. And while I was getting ready, she started saying really weird things. At first, she told me that I should wash my hair because it looked oily. I told her my hair was freshly washed. When I looked at myself in the mirror, I could see her reflection and she just rolled her eyes at me. This is when things started clicking. Part two is up. My best friend projects her insecurities on me. Should I break up with her? I could see through the mirror that she had rolled her eyes at me. Then she started making other comments about my appearance. Mind you, I'm getting ready for a date. When I showed her the outfit that I was going to wear, she said it was too revealing and that I would probably scare him off. It wasn't even revealing. It just showed my legs. It was a cute sundress with the cardigan on top. I told her I thought I looked cute. And then she said, Aya tu amiga. As I'm finishing up my hair and my makeup, she says, Wow, you're going to wear that much makeup? But the way she said it was so aggressive, I actually took off the lipstick I was wearing. Instead, I just put on lip balm. I looked at her and she had a smile on her face. It was like she was happy she finally got to me. The date went really well and he actually turned into my boyfriend a few weeks later. And guess what? My best friend started judging everything about him. The first time she met him, she started saying, wow, I think he's balding, which he isn't. And even if he was, I wouldn't care. She also started making comments about him staring at other girls, something I never even noticed that he did. And I would know I'm with him all the time. It's like she was trying to plant all these insecurities in my head. One day, Lucia and my boyfriend and I are in his car. We were heading to the movie theaters when Lucia says, wow, you put on way too much perfume. It's giving me a headache. That's what my boyfriend told Told her that if it bothered her that much she should just go home and out of nowhere lucia swung her fist at him she actually tried to attack him part three is up best friend always projects her insecurities on me should i break up with her that's when she started swinging at my boyfriend luckily i yelled at her and she stopped it's like she was upset at me for yelling at her for trying to hit my boyfriend that's when my boyfriend kicked her out of the car and i asked him to calm down i got out of the car with lucia and asked her to calm down that's when she told me that i needed to break up with him and that he was clearly abusive i told her he was just defending me then she said he doesn't need to defend you i'm only saying this because i care about you then she called herself an uber and left my boyfriend and I went to the movie theaters and we had a really nice night. Here's some more examples of her projecting on me. While we were getting ready for a friend's birthday party, she started pointing out some stuff on my body. She said, your elbows are really dark. You need to fix that. Another time I decided to get some highlights and she said they looked horrible on me. She said I looked like a JLo wannabe. Luckily, I didn't care and I just kept the highlights. Mind you, two months later, she got the exact same highlights. Now, I know that she cares about me because she does have my back. She'll help me with anything I need, honestly. And I wonder if I'm overreacting, but I don't think so. I just don't know how to tell her that she's toxic and she makes me feel bad what should i do 
My husband signed up for my sister's only friends. Should I divorce him? Disclaimer, not my story time. It's done me on Instagram. My husband and I have a really toxic relationship. When he and I first started dating, I was extremely jealous. I would instigate fights almost every single day. Now that we're married, I'm definitely less jealous. But he's always been jealous throughout our relationship. He tries to control everything I do. Down to the way I dress and even the people I can or cannot hang out with. He even insisted that I quit my job, which I did. He's invested a lot in Tesla and crypto. So he makes a lot of money without having to leave the house. Which, yes, is totally amazing. But that means he and I are together all the time and with his jealousy sometimes I just can't stand him I've tried to help him with his jealousy because I used to be in that place And when I try to talk to him about it, he just gets mad at me whenever he sees that I post something on Instagram He gets angry. He says that I'm looking for attention, which of course I am but not from guys Everyone posts on social media because they want to show off their life a little on my sister We're identical twins and we're really really close. Unfortunately, my sister got laid off from her job last year That's when she decided to start her only friends. I support her in everything she wants to do She's actually making really good money from it. So she's really happy about about it. A few days ago, I got on my husband's phone to look for something. When I see my sister's pictures, part two is up. My husband signed up for my sister's only friend. Should I divorce him? Disclaimer is not my story time. It's not me on Instagram. A few days ago, I got on my husband's phone to transfer some money from his account to mine. When I started looking for his banking app, I noticed something else on his screen. I had never seen this before, so I clicked on it. And as soon as I opened it, I see my sister's pictures. And I knew it was her only friends right away. By the way, I had never told my husband that my sister had an only friends. She wouldn't even post about it on her social media. So the fact that he found it makes me believe that he had my phone bugged or something. But here's the thing. He was using a different name for his account. So it was likely that my sister did not know it was him from there i could see that he was following a bunch of other girls and when i went to their messages he had paid over hundreds of dollars every single day to all of these girls can you imagine how much money that is my husband came into the room and saw me on his phone of course he didn't freak out because he never thought that i would find it but i confronted him right away but he didn't even flinch he said he had every right to go on OnlyFans because it was the same thing as going to any website i told him to at least unfollow my sister and he said that he wouldn't he said he loved it because it was like watching me do naughty things then he said isn't this better than cheating on you i was flabbergasted part three is up husband signed up for my sister's only friends should i divorce him disclaimer is not my story time it's on on instagram that's when he told me that it was better than him cheating on me and i was shocked i couldn't think of anything else to say so i threatened him i told him that if he didn't stop following my sister that i would start my own only friends account like i said he's really jealous so he went berserk he ripped my phone out of my hand and threw it against the wall then he told me that the only reason he asked me to quit my job was so that i wouldn't be around other men by the way i used to be a personal trainer and most of the time i would only train women i told him that my sister and i wouldn't be comfortable with him looking at our only friends it was so disturbing. Oh, and I also told him that he needed to stop controlling me and that I could buy my own phone with my own money and start my own account. Then he came to his senses and started to apologize. And I also told him that I was suspecting that he bugged my phone and that he was receiving my messages because there was no other way he could have found out about my sister's account. Then he calmed down and explained things to me. He said that he had bugged my phone a few months ago because I was posting too much on Instagram and it was bothering him. So basically, he has access to my DMs and all my text messages. He promised to stop doing that and that he would buy me a new phone. And that that's how he found out about my sister's only friends. He said he only signed up out of curiosity. And that he only wanted to see a few pictures and then delete it. But the more he kept looking at her pictures, the more he would think of me. And that it turned him on. And in front of me, he deactivated his account and deleted everything. He promised me that he would never do that again. Of course, I haven't forgiven him though. I haven't even spoken to him in days but every time he sees me he tries to kiss me and hug me and when i push him away he tries even harder honestly i think he likes it i do believe that he's secretly addicted to drama and that he thrives on it i'm planning on never telling my sister about it don't think she'd feel comfortable around him ever again i mean i don't feel comfortable around him right now i'm so confused and i don't know if i should leave him or not he's so controlling all the time what should i do Story time of how I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me with my cousin. My boyfriend and I had been together for two and a half years. His family loved me and my family loved him and they expected us to get married. Well, last year when COVID started, we were actually in different countries, so we didn't see each other for three months. During those three months, we FaceTimed four times a day and we were always texting. He happened to be quarantining in our hometown, so both of our families were in the same place. I was quarantined in a different country. One day, my cousin calls me and tells me that she met a really nice guy on a dating website. I was so happy for her because she had had bad luck with guys. Every single week, her and I would catch up on the phone and she would tell me how much she liked this guy and how amazing their dates were and how amazing he was in bed, how sweet and considerate he was. I couldn't be happier for her. Well, when I finally get back home, my boyfriend is super distant and cold. So naturally, I called my cousin and complained. She told me to give him space. She said I should just leave him alone. And so like an idiot, I did leave him alone. One day, my cousin calls me and tells me to come over for dinner. When I got there, my boyfriend's car was parked in her garage. I thought it was just her nice way of trying to get us to talk. I walk in and catch them doing the dirty on the couch. Come back for part two.
So I walk in on my cousin and my boyfriend doing the dirty on her couch. They quickly get up from the couch and get dressed. Of course, by that time, I'm in hysterics. I'm crying and yelling. My boyfriend instantly got on his knees and begged me for forgiveness. I went up to my cousin and I punched her right in the face. She wasn't expecting that. And I said, well, this is the guy that you've been dating, isn't it? She said yes, and that she was just trying to find the best way to tell me. And so she just thought the best way to tell me was to get me to walk in on her and him doing the dirty. I punched her again. My boyfriend came to her rescue, though instantly went into hero mode which made me even angrier so i punched him too i stormed out of her house and went back to my house well i told my parents everything and my dad went over to my uncle's house my cousin's dad and he told him everything she was about to turn 19 so he took away her phone and her car and i get a phone call from my ex come back for part three so my lying cheating ex calls me and explains to me why he actually slept with my cousin He said that he was so lonely and that he didn't know what to do and that the closest thing to me He could find was my cousin right as if that was any comfort to me He said I should be grateful that I didn't cheat with someone else I told him he had totally betrayed my trust and that I could never ever trust him again And then he confessed that she was pregnant and that his parents wanted them to get married He said he just wanted to give me a heads up then he said that we could still be together But just not tell anyone so basically he wanted me to be his side piece I couldn't believe the words that were coming out of his mouth it was like I did didn't know this man guess what I did I recorded the entire conversation so I went straight to my cousin and I let her listen to it she was so shocked she couldn't believe that he would offer to have me as a side chick well I also let my uncle listen to it he went to my ex's house and beat him up honestly that made me sad but he deserved it they now have a baby and he's gained 50 pounds it's your instincts girl and always record your conversations also how cute are my nails <laughs>